Hello and welcome to episode 17 of our Timberborn Update 5 hard mode playthrough with Folktales Faction here in cycle 26, day 18. Got about 14 days left of our current drought cycle. And recently in this playthrough we've been working on uh, squaring off this farm area. That's mostly done. We've got a little bit more dirt to place here and a little bit more planting to get uh, accomplished. And this area over here, the industrial zone, has been a little neglected. I don't know that we're really going to get to too much of that today, but we'll see what happens. Our main focus, I think, today should be clearing out a path, straight line style, to go all the way out here to expedite the dumping of water. So, what we're going to end up doing, most likely, since it's already dry, we can easily come in here, clear everything out, and take advantage of having all of this space, which is quite nice. And this is already pretty much primed, ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to clear these trees out, blast the land down, and maybe build up some levees and such here so we can just send it all the way through. Maybe if we're feeling fancy, put in some floodgates so we can still flood the entire spiral if we so choose. But uh, for right now, I think it would be a smart idea for us to just take advantage of this not being filled with water or bad water and do whatever we can to get it done. Because previously we had these uh, double floodgates and triple floodgates here to hold water back, which, you know, is all well and good for storing uh, water in a large capacity. But if we want water to come out fast, then this would be best to just go straight through. And that also could allow us to segment this off even more and plant stuff, uh, I guess, full-time, year-round, season-round, cycle-round, whatever you want to call the division of time as these uh, things go in and out. Well, we'll see what happens. Got some other ideas as well. You guys are good about leaving helpful comments, and we will try to get to as many of those as we can. Uh, other things you guys wanted to see, for example, over here, we've got a lot of piles but we don't have any underground piles, at least not that I can remember. And if we go down, uh, the reason for that is because this one actually has water under it, but these don't. These are just regular old piles. So we can very easily, very easily spend some science to unlock underground pile and get to work on uh, expanding our wood storage. Because part of the reason why we have not had a whole lot of wood is because a lot of the time we didn't really have anywhere to put it so they haven't been harvesting and you can see that there's plenty of wood up for grabs here we want to make sure that we're taking advantage of that so just go ahead right now and pop this in here unlock the pile everything is all well and good and the way this is set up i think i can actually get away with leaving this like so and creating a little bit of a uh, little detour here. And I'll put two underground piles. And then we can get rid of this one entirely. And that'll be fine. That'll allow us to have some more berries here if we ever decided we wanted any. Because those could just uh, manually get grown back in there. So that's something that hopefully will solve some of our issues with having adequate storage for logs. And we can take better advantage of this, employ some more uh, beavers as lumberjacks, etc. So we'll let that go, get that three times going again. Now that I have the FPS to support that, it's going to be a whole lot nicer. Uh, other things you guys brought up is that this area is not connected, and you are correct. Uh, these bad water pumps do not need to be here. They are uh, just a stopgap solution for when this flooded uh, but moving forward, that should not be an issue because if we redirect all of the water spillage to come out here, then that really should not uh, ever be something that's in doubt. So let's go ahead, make sure we have lumberjacks. I'll just go ahead and put two of them right here so they can start getting to that. And then we'll blast this out and see how everything gets set up there. But yeah, now that these are gone, uh, the reason I hadn't built over this was because I was going to blast this out uh, a little bit more. In fact, you know what? This lodge doesn't need to be here. That's not that's not a good place for a lodge. Uh, we can, however, start to build some more over here, and we can put in some other amenities, uh, monuments, etc. out over here. These guys are right on the shore. 
Uh, I could put in some more behind them, but I kind of don't want to build over the lake too much. Reservoir, whatever you want to call it. I think instead we should identify other places where beavers might want to live. Uh, would make sense for them to live. Maybe uh, another cluster of things over here or what have you. And then just build based off of that. And we also have right here. We didn't set those off. So now that's a thing. And we have enough uh, water storage. I'm actually going to shut these off. They will automatically get turned back on later. But we have almost 7,000 stored. I don't think we need to be pumping any right now. So we'll see. We'll see what happens when we get to a little bit lower of a storage. But if this stops getting reduced, then maybe we'll have a little bit more to play with here. I wanted to uh, go ahead and get this blasted out. Uh, this no longer has bad water, so this can go away. That'll free up a little bit of space for us. And then I think, I think otherwise this is looking okay. Uh, I do want to match the depth here. I think this is just one. One tile deeper. I'm not going to make this too much deeper than that. Uh, it seems like it's okay. But I will go ahead, since we are already here, and get that situated like so. And I'm going to replace this with a ladder, because that seems to be a much better use of space. So let's pop that in here just in the corner like so and that's going to allow us to just have this be a straight line and then we can use our double dynamite here should be a lot nicer and then all this space behind here uh this it doesn't really need to go away but this isn't really the best this isn't really the best setup for how we have stuff going here so at some point we'll probably want to redo that but for right now that looks good there. And uh, we'll come back and address the rest of this later. But I did want this to be a little bit, little bit better maintained. This is another thing that would be two, uh, two dynamites deep. Double, whatever you want to call it. Yep, that's already a big improvement. And I know this is a really small thing to be growing spatter duck in. We don't have a lot. Uh, we actually don't have, I don't think, any that we're actually making use of. Because this all just grows so incredibly slow. Do I have a grill set up for it? I do. I have two. Um, I think, for the benefit of the beavers, let's just go ahead and plant all of this as spatter duck. I know I was going to grow some cattails maybe, but we could possibly find another spot for that. We have all this space over here that is going to be uh, close to some farmhouses. Uh, previously would have been bad water, but uh, because of the way this stuff is set up with these bad water rigs now, uh, there's no danger of bad water ever being over here. So uh, I had the idea. A couple of you inspired me from the comments of uh, just filling this in with some... Uh, some dirt creating a little uh, area around this. And then we could actually just have this entire thing as an aquatic farm, depending on how we want to have it set up. But we could definitely corral this. Not that there's any danger of this ever leaking, but uh, just walling that off I think would be nice. And we could uh, maybe level the terrain a little bit. We already have the water coming in here. We already have this floodgate that we can take advantage of. We could remove these blockages. They're not called barriers anymore. But uh, we could remove these and just use this to fill up nicely while the uh, temperate seasons are here, that thing. And there's also all this space down here. People have been asking me forever and ever and ever to build more, more dams. We just have always had something else to do. So maybe at some point we'll get into that. Uh, they're hard at work up here getting these out of the way. I don't think we need to go down to uh, double depth or anything, but I will start uh, dynamiting this out. This is six blocks wide. Uh, I'm going to say let's do seven. Seven blocks wide because that's how wide this is already set up to be. And we'll just get the rest of these trees knocked down here. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be what we want. And as soon as that's exploded, that'll be level here. And then 
We'll just need to make sure that it keeps on going down this way. So that would keep it level with the bottom. Actually, no, it would not keep it level with the bottom because this is too deep. That will need to be something else. So we'll uh, replace these real quick with the doubles. I believe seven, seven wide was what we decided. Yes. So that's all good from the back side there. Uh, so what we're going to end up doing is just building off to the side once the channel's blasted through. That's what I'm mainly concerned about. So the water can easily have a straight line to come out nice and square. This is already the perfect width here. We'll just need to expand it this way. So that is looking nice. Let them take care of that. Another thing people have been saying is you should put a power shaft across the colony so you can have uh, industry stuff over here. And we could. Uh, probably would not be too terribly hard to run it underwater here, especially with how this is uh, ripe for coming across here. The issue is uh, the way that we have the levees set up, I don't have a lot of mods installed, so we don't have the uh, power shaft levees or whatever. We would have to go over the top of the levees or underneath or something, and uh, these floodgates right here uh, would not allow that to happen. So we would actually have to go around here and then come down, probably, I think. Well, this hasn't ever overflowed uh, recently because we have uh, this extra gate up here. So I think, I think our best course of action is going to be to do uh, this way here. Yeah, we'll just let them get around to moving this this way. Then come up from underneath to build that. That'll be A-OK -okay there. Um, I'll build this piece last after we uh, get all this other stuff taken care of. But what will happen is this will just go on the other side here. Then we'll go down, straight down the middle here, all the way, almost centrally uh, in the middle of this. And then uh, we'll figure out how to get it to the other side uh, when we get to the other side. That would help solve our problem of having the, uh, the grist mills here. But, but I did go ahead and install the Dutch windmill mod because I felt like that would be a justifiable addition for the uh, whole folktale seal. So I am going to go ahead and unlock that. I really love this mod. I think it's fantastic. It is a beautiful asset. Very, very much something I feel like fits with what we're uh, looking at here. So I will go ahead and put in some of those here. I hope I got that spacing right. It might be every... It might need three spaces in between. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But as they harvest this uh, wheat here and it's not replanted, then we'll take care of that. But uh, can't forget to put those in. That's another thing people suggest in the comments over the last couple of videos. And then I believe uh, most of the other stuff we've already handled. This will store more water. Obviously, that's something we want. Uh, this, I need to clean that up. In fact, why don't we, why don't we just go ahead and do that? Get rid of this inventor here. Uh, this needs to be a triple and then some, but a uh, triple will let us get where we want to go. Nice and easy. We do have 1400 science. I'm not going to need to spend so much on science, uh, for the near future. Oh, you know what we didn't do is we didn't set this to hold logs. So let's do that real quick. And that means this one doesn't have to hold logs. It can actually hold something else, but I, I don't really know what else we'd put in there. We don't really need to hold any more dirt. Or maybe we do. You know what? Yeah. Okay, we'll put dirt there. Why not? It's in the garden area, kind of. So we'll let that happen. All right, so this is looking good here. Uh, we can go ahead and build across, or we could build underneath, because I was going to have this all uh, blasted away anyway. But why don't we, while we're on the subject of just blowing stuff up for funsies, why don't we just go ahead and level this a little bit, make it a little bit more accessible. And then we can come in and put a bridge across. Uh, I didn't really do myself any favors with how this is, uh, 
How's the setup here? Let's get this tree. You know what? I'm not going to lose sleep over waiting for someone to come get it. I'm just going to clear it. That dead tree. We can have that be where the bridge goes across. Not going to be the end of the world there. That'll match up a lot nicer <laughs> with this. All right, so get that out of there. And then we already have our three buys. Uh, it's not going to be quite long enough. I think the four by is going to be what we need there. So if we did a three by and come in over here, um, I need another three spots, really? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Tell you what we can do. Let's, uh, they have another way to get across, right? Yes. All right, let's get rid of this. And then, I, I really don't need to pause the game to do this, I know, but get that taken care of. Oh, he's trapped. Oh, no. What a travesty. Um, let's, let's get you out of here. Put in some regular old stairs right there whenever they get around to it. Get those trapped beavers out of there. But I will go ahead and unlock this suspension bridge and that, uh, that four by there will fit and then that will fit there. And that'll be something that looks a little bit nicer. Maybe. It's, it's kind of an improvement, I guess. But that'll use um, eh, not too many metal blocks. Got a decent storage of planks. Uh, logs building up slowly. Speaking of, are they all marked for cutting? They are. We have... We don't really have a lot of these uh, lumberjacks over here. Hey, Beans. Chilling here. What you up to? You're not cutting down trees. You're going to the complete opposite side of the map. All right, well... Not what I would have done with my time, but you do you, bud. Uh, let's see. Put those in there. They can't reach, really? Okay. So I suppose... Okay, now they can reach. Except right here they can't. Um, I guess since these are already here, we can just get rid of those trees. Uh, there's no trees growing here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that uh, so we're not wasting our sanity on any of that stuff. Seven days left in the drought. We've gone down to 4,100 water, 4,000 water-ish. Um, so uh, we know that we can last probably the whole drought, uh, maximum drought length, I think, with 6,700 until we start having more... Uh, more peepers. Thereabouts. I know it's probably not exactly exactly enough. But we'll be alright. We'll survive. So we just gotta get this going here. And then uh, I think what I want to do uh, the way this is looking I'm actually going to start using the terrain blocks like this and then I'm only going to connect it with the uh, the floodgates here. I think that might be kind of kind of a fun thing. Nope, not there. Go away. Stop it. That doesn't need to be here. But since we have the technology to uh, <laughs> to take care of that, we'll just make sure that we uh, do what we can when we can here. Build things up appropriately. And then I believe... I don't have the extended floodgates, or else I would build the metal ones that you can put walkways on top of, but we will uh, we'll get there in time. I think, yeah, this is enough here. Just uh, got to let them put the uh, terrain blocks in. And then, in fact, since we already have this here, I'll just put that right there. And then this can become uh, the single-story floodgates. Just build some of those. Uh, if we want this to come out, we can. If not, it can just be shunted during a bad tide zoop, all the way down. Should be nice and easy. Uh, triple floodgates. I don't know that it's ever really going to need to be necessary to have this much, but uh, why not, right? No real reason why we couldn't, uh, couldn't do it this way. So if we have that blown up like so, we could. Not really any reason to do it this way but I think I think I can uh, get away with doing that I might have to blow this up first don't walk on it there we go now they should have accessed all this because of our uh, pathways here might have to have them come down um, oh 
that's not connected. All right, well, that solves that problem. Uh, this staircase needs to go away. So that uh, will take care of that. Somebody left a comment on that last video saying, hey, you still have the staircase here. And the beavers might get the uh, the nasty water in there. But uh, this one should be okay once we have the, uh, the floodgates and everything in place. So that being a thing here, um, for us to do what we need to do, I think I'm going to have to just go ahead and... Is this going to be triple high, double high, double high? I'm just going to have to go ahead and uh, send this all the way across. Give them a platform to work from. And just uh, roll from there. These are doubles. Uh, this needs to be a triple. That needs to be a triple. They should be able to get to that. Let's take care of everything there. That's a triple. That's a double. This needs to be a single. That'll have it down to this same level here. Uh, nice straight through. They're done with the... Uh... Why did... Oh, I know why I did that. I know why I did that. Because I was going to have this be completely uh, completely straight across. Alright, well, no, uh, no harm, no foul. This still has some scrap metal, but let's... Uh... Actually, do I have anywhere else to put that? Um, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Might have made a mistake there, but that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, we have another path coming up here. Not really connected that well, but we could, uh, could send them in this way. I don't know. We'll see. I, I gotta let them, uh, gotta let them do this in stages. I think would be the thing that makes the most sense. Let's put in... Uh, some ladders here, so we can get them to come down and build the floodgates. Mm, I guess, I guess this needs to be uh, blasted down. While we're thinking about it, I guess I can pause that one, so I can just blast all of these. Don't really need to do it this way, but uh, might as well. So that becomes like that. Then I really just need to have them come get this scrap metal. We don't even need to come over here, probably ever. The entire half of the map, I guess we don't need to worry about. I don't know if you think what I'm doing is dumb. Let me know. Uh, I'm not always the best judge of uh, what does and does not make sense for stuff like this. So right here, I'm going to, I think, eventually move this all the way down. This is triple dynamite territory. It looks like it is. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just dynamite this all the way down. Why not just have this go all the way? is already the same height here. That's going to be single. That means this is going to be too high. That means that needs to be a double, but we can't get down there, so there's not really any point to that, is there? Eh, I don't know. Just do that as a, as a double. This is going to have to be another double, and then we'll double it again. I don't know. I probably don't need to do it this way. Probably don't. Uh, but the reason behind uh, doing all this is to have the power shaft run. So I guess I can deprioritize all this stuff. I get them to blast this down because then I can just have this be complete. Uh, uh, what's the what's the word? I don't even know. I forgot what words are. That's fine. Absolutely no shock to anyone here. Uh, but uh, vertical power shafts all the way up here, then just run straight across. Uh, I will get rid of this. We'll build another bridge uh, in an opportune location, I guess. The way that this is currently set up doesn't make sense to put it here. Um, this isn't really a great place for a bridge either because this already has that there. Um, I guess here is probably the best one. Are those the same height? They look like it. This was uh, two threes. If I come in here with the fours, pause again. 
Yeah, I've got four spaces in the middle, so that would be a great reason to use the six by ones, but I uh, don't have the science to unlock those, and I got rid of my science buildings so I could uh, clear the land. So uh, we're not going to do that. Instead, I think what we'll have to do... Where did I have this coming through here again? Yeah. I'll just build up like this, and that will be okay. And that'll, that still matches up pretty nicely right there. Uh, get that to go all the way across, which then means I can come in here. Uh, I actually don't need these to be here anyway. Fill this in with some regular old dirt. And then we'll fill that last one in that this medical bed connects to. But yeah, clearly we have plenty of stuff for these guys to be doing. Uh, some major upgrades and changes to how we have stuff set up here. So even if the only thing we can get done in this area up here before the next bad tide is to have these floodgates in place, that will in fact allow us to store some good water here and here on this backside. Uh, and we'll be able to take care of maybe growing some more plants up here. Not that we need to. We have so many, so many crops already. Everything is looking pretty good for that. Just a little, uh, little incremental changes. Small progress over time still gets you somewhere, you know. Uh, meanwhile, our gravity batteries are still completely adequate. I've been wanting to expand this, but there hasn't been a reason to because we've always managed to make it work. So now I kind of want them to, uh, kind of want them to finish this stuff. I forgot they changed how this works. We want to go in from it up top. I uh, get this bridge in place, then I can get rid of the rest of this stuff, which means I can blow this all the way out. We'll store more water, and then we can have the power shafts go all the way down through here. So I will go ahead and uh, just drag this. All the way down, just a nice straight line, super simple, easy. And then we have these floodgates here, so we're not going to be able to send it out that way. But uh, I believe we could pretty easily reroute how this stuff is set up. Just want to make sure the uh, bones for this are uh, being put back into place. Yeah, the way this is set up, we might... Oh, I can just build from the top here. That's not going to be a problem. So that will be here and here. I think I can easily get away with because they could just walk in on the top for this thing and then build from the other side, no problems. All right, now we got explosives going in. I want to try and see if I can get them to do both of these triples and uh, detonate those first so I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, there's not really any reason for us to have to build this back up. Um, with the dirt, but I kind of want to anyway, just so it uh, kind of has a little bit of congruency here. I think that might be kind of fun, just to have this uh, go off the uh, the same way here. I don't know. I was going to keep this, possibly, but I don't think they can really get to much of anything. So, we'll see what happens. I know it doesn't need to be this deep. But we'll, uh, we'll do what we have to do. Mm, yes, lag. All right, good. Uh, no progress here yet. As we're working on the bridges. Uh, we're not running out of planks or logs, thankfully. Uh, metal blocks, we have enough to make these bridges, no problem. Uh, this one's in place looking good. We already knew that was a thing. Uh, these are connected. So now, well, I don't need to add anything else while they're still working on this. So I think we can leave that alone. Uh, there's nothing planted in this square. Why? Oh, okay. It was already planted. It just wasn't physically planted by the beavers. Okay, we have space here. And I was going to uh, maybe put in some more of these medium tanks. Uh, this bad water does not need to be here. Uh, this sunflower probably does not either. So let's unplant that. This is empty, this is empty, so that's really not serving much of a purpose at all. We can get rid of those. Uh, we can actually make much better use of this space. Uh, we have uh, the dance hall. We can put another one of those 
over here. It's a, basically the perfect spot for that. Uh, we could do some other type stuff. I think that's really the only 5x5 five five, uh, recreational thing outside of the carousel takes up a similar space. Oh, they took the uh, I took the sunflower out. Cool. Uh, this path here being uh, straight out of the uh, district center, I don't know that we need to uh, get rid of that. This isn't the best use of space, but I'm, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it right now. I think that is fine. How are we looking over here? Good, they got those in. That's progress there, I think. I think that's about everything we wanted there. Uh, this needs to be detonated. Oh, I was going to blow these up too, but oh, that's why I left the uh, floodgate done here. Okay, that's done. They haven't gotten to this yet, of course not. But this is now done, which means I can get rid of... Goodbye, go around. Probably should have... Uh, put all these explosives in first before I got rid of the path, but I think they can uh, I think they can get through all this. Should be okay. Yeah, we'll get rid of all that in due time. We have 0.6 days until this is done. Uh, I do want to try and get these guys all finished up. But I will uh, prioritize getting these explosives laid. I think they should be able to do most of these and then uh, might be able to do the rest of this. I know they can get in to put these terrain blocks in. Not the biggest priority right now. So water comes out here. If we don't have this shunted uh, this way, then it'll just keep going and get stopped here and then overflow other sides because this is already taller than... Uh, no, okay, it's not actually that much taller. There's just a dip here. Huh. Probably should have thought about that first before I did uh, too much with all this stuff. But I digress. At least our connectivity here, I think, is better with these bridges versus snaking around here. There's not really any reason to go from here to here that you couldn't already go here or here. So now we just have to see what they're going to be able to do first. Um, obviously the water is under a thousand. I'm going to turn these back on. We've got a bunch of unemployed beavers, which is interesting. But we save, managed to save most of the water in here. Uh, hopefully that means we can fill this whole thing up because we've created a lot more extra space by detonating some of this. Uh, I was hoping they could get to this too, but I guess they probably won't. Right, this is done here means that can get unpaused now I can put another triple right here yeah that's going to be nice if I can get that finished uh, this is now no longer connected so I will hook that back up here and now we're going to have water coming down here and around here so on and so forth. And I'm not going to detonate these until I have to. Because I want to get them up here to put these terrain blocks in place. I probably should... Probably should... Have, uh... Done this. I don't know if they're going to be able to reach this. I don't think they can. So maybe what I should do instead is just kind of leave that as it is, because that's uh, just how that's going to end up there. Well, we don't really need to worry about it. I do want to stop them from uh, getting too uh, too dirty nasty here. So, well, they got a couple days. Should be all right. The water will very slowly make its way down here. Solve most of those problems. And they have started putting in the dynamite down here. So really all I need for them to do is to do this uh, first segment here. But for that to be a thing, I'm going to have to un, uh, 
unbuild those and put this uh, path back in so they can still get to all of these. If you take a look at our priority thing. Yeah, I just, I just need that done. I can build vertically from the top here. That's not going to be a problem. Need to leave that space open. So I guess, yeah. We'll just get those already done because they're there. We'll have to have a ladder to go down into the, uh, the pit here, as it were. And then, I don't think we're going to hook this up today. Depending on how much time we end up uh, having left after it's all said and done. But just having this here, I think, is going to be a big help. Now, is there somewhere I want to put access? Um, oh, you know what? It just makes sense to put it right here. Just uh, put that down there on the bottom. They should not have any issues uh, getting to most of this. Okay, those are already uh, already getting put in. I kind of didn't want them to start on that just yet. Let's go ahead and blow this up. Since nobody's in the immediate area. And what we'll do here is I will... Uh, okay, that's going to have to be a universal power shaft on the, uh, the bottom, or does it? Eh, it's not worth losing sleep over. We'll just do that. Just have that capped off on the top like so. They can build all that in one swoop. Get that hooked up nicely. Uh, that's going to be a double. That's going to be a triple. As is that. So hopefully... Hopefully that ends up working out nicely. <laughs> they built underneath the bridge. They sure know how to do that. Uh, so we'll come back and check on that in due time. How are we looking over here? This is connected. Uh, let's empty that out. Just get it out of there. They did put in all of our... Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Water's already, already coming out here. That's nice. Um, we need to, now that this is uh, pretty much just done, just get that out of here. Detonate it out. Yeah, I think this is okay like this. Still fine. Now the, uh, the fun thing we have to do is come up here. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Get these guys in place. Uh, I don't have any... I don't think I have any more lumberjacks over here, so I guess we could build one. It won't be a problem. Let's get those trees done. And then this, this is two blocks high, so this will need to become... Well, they can actually still get down here. Let's, um... Okay, let's just do this. Get that done, and then this will be nice and squared off. Uh, I will build this up a little bit. Why not? So this will just be five blocks wide. And then the other side, I guess. No, you know what? No, we're not going to do this. Not going to do that. We'll just, we'll just make it easy. <laughs> Let's just make it easy and get this whole thing. I they might not be able to build that, but we'll get this whole thing just squared off. Super, super simple. Don't need to lose any sleep over it. That can have some uh, stuff there, and I can just put triples here. That's what I should have done this entire time. That makes it almost, almost level. And I guess we can uh, we can just build up on top of this. But that's gonna, I believe, be what we want to be about here. And we'll just build up, build up to the side. But I do want this since this is six. I do want this to be six as well. Which, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just have it be perfectly symmetrical. Why not blow this up for the sake of blowing it up? I've done things that make less sense before. Should be able, hopefully, to reach all the way over there if I don't have this uh, hooked up. So that, I guess, could be the big, uh, the big thing we try now. It's already day three. There's no guarantee. Oh, this is going to flood. Um, there's no guarantee this is going to go exactly the way we want it to anyway, so... Don't need to be worried about it. 
Take it as it happens. Yeah, yeah, those were already flooding. This is why this gets dangerous <laughs> during uh, all the other uh, seasons here. Yeah, make a little bit of extra space there. These were already... All right, drought. Not a uh, not a bad tide, so that's good news for us at least. Oh, this flooded. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> They're just going to empty out everything. And uh, once it dries out, then we'll just go back to business as normal. Power shaft is uh, making progress there. We'll just have to remember to keep our eye on uh, everything here. But this is already looking pretty nice, I think. As long as the uh, beavers can get up here to do all this, that is. Should be fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I think... Oh no, they still... Wait, why can't they get to this? Oh, okay, there's no path on the bottom. Now they can get here. I was wondering why they hadn't done anything with that yet. All right, this is all looking good. All looking good. They still haven't harvested this wheat yet. I was going to put a Dutch windmill here, but I guess I don't really need those. If I did get rid of the Dutch windmill, I wouldn't need this, um, I guess, power windmill. I wouldn't need these uh, grist mills either. The Dutch windmills do tend to uh, produce stuff pretty reliably, at least in my experience. So I guess uh, we'll see what happens when we get there. Just got to get these guys moving a little bit faster. Okay, here they go. Here they go doing what they gotta do. I don't think we have any cause to be concerned. We have 2.2 days. We might be able to get some more water secured here. But the way this is set up now, I don't think we really need to be that worried about it either. Everything seems to be uh, working out just fine. Now, what I could also do uh, at each drop is I could put another set of gates to uh, just kind of have stuff either shunting in or shunting out based on the same kind of uh, thing we're doing down here. I don't know that we really need to be that worried about it. I know there's an island in here. Yes, I know. I'm aware. We'll get it fixed eventually. But for right now, I just want to make as much of a, uh, a dent in our water storage as I can. That's still three, three high? Yeah. All right, so that... Oh, good. That's looking nice. Yeah, they, they do stuff fast when you have it set up in a way that they can get to everything. That's all built. Uh, so we'll actually be in good shape probably next episode whenever we get uh, around to moving some more industrial stuff over here for the bad water. But it's here. And uh, that is going to be a very, very nice thing to have access to later on. We still have 25 beavers that don't have any jobs. So we, uh, we do want to be uh, thinking about ways to help that situation. We just don't have enough industrial stuff going right now. Honestly, I think it's the problem. So that's looking good. That's looking good. That's looking good. So now that's done. That's complete. So uh, before I get rid of this, before I get rid of this, I think I'm going to want to put in um, one high floodgates like this across this entire thing. I have this defaulted down to zero. And in the event of, say, a, uh, a bad tide, these would open automatically. And when drought starts, they would close so they could store water. I don't know. We just have it here so we can play with it if we, if we feel like it. I don't think it really needs to be anything super complicated. But what I should have done is I should have had this, should have had this closed off. I guess it's not really that bad because it is. Oh, what in the world did I click? Okay, storage overlay. It's not the worst thing in the world to have uh, water going through here before a drought, especially if it can be stored. I think it's something we want to uh, want to be able to do here. So I will go ahead and close this just so we can have some extra uh, popped in here. Let this flow as it will. But uh, the amount of water we have stored. Okay, well now it's, it's a little lower than it should be, but we have plenty down here. We, can, we know we can pump, and we know we have uh, these up here we can come to if we need to. So 
not the uh, not the complete uh, solution up here, but this is a very good start as we start to approach the time period where we should think about winding this episode down. We'll see. We got some time. Uh, this is going to get blasted out as well. So why don't we... Uh, can I even get up here? I think I'm going to have to have... I'm going to have to have them just come straight down uh, this side again. But we're going to have to blast this out. I believe. So that's going to need to come down three squares. That can be... I guess we could do... Uh, no, it's it's going to have to be... a. Uh, going to have to be one block at a time. Except this one on the end, we can leave that. We're going to be blasting this, or not blasting this, uh, building this up. Stuff takes a long time, though, because we've been, uh, we've been so busy doing other stuff. Got 0 0.2 days left. Let's, um, well, it's going to flood out here anyway. So I guess for right now, this is probably just fine. We can continue working and uh, figure out what we're going to do next time, I suppose. But we do now have a straight shot. Uh, once I put this floodgate in, we get rid of this path. We do have a straight shot to go zoop, all the way out, and then we just have to finish this wall here. But that's looking fine. 26 day drought, so we do have plenty of time. Do have plenty of time to get a lot of this stuff figured out. Uh, again, I cannot automate this because I'm sure it will be wrong. There are many of you who assume that I can. I assure you I cannot. If I were as smart as you, I would have a computer science degree and be making a billion dollars a year. But I do not. But money's not the end-all be-all of life. Much happier doing this. <laughs> this is a whole lot, whole lot more fun. So I think now uh, the amount of water actually coming out is not going to be enough to flood this. Hopefully. So I think we are good to go. Oh, I will detonate this. That will give us a little bit more storage space. Yeah. I think we can be very happy with that. At least uh, for the time being. If this does end up flooding, then I guess I can uh, I can eat my words on that. What? Uh, all else equal, I think we've made a lot of good progress. Uh, wood storage is up. We have plenty uh, more space to store the wood. Uh, we got some more dirt, too. We have a strategic dirt reserve right here, I guess, if we wanted to start building some uh, some other stuff, we could do that. This is looking nice. Um, this guy, I don't think, would be able to reach this tree once these stairs are put in place. But I suppose we will... Uh, have to find out what happens uh, later. I did want to. I did want to end at the start of this drought, but I don't know. It's only only forty nine minutes so far. I think we can go a little bit longer. Try and wrap up a little bit of this. Uh, I wanted to see if I could get these floodgates built, but I guess they have other stuff that they're doing first, like uh, these floodgates. Can't really blame them for that. That's fine. So six here. That's looking fine. Uh, I don't need to build this up because this will be blasted down in the middle. But here, here we're going to have this uh, get built up on the side to be level with the top here. So I think long term, yeah, you know, long term, this needs to be a little higher. Just a little bit. So we'll do, we'll do that. That should be fine. Uh, blowing this up just so we can have. Uh, this at the correct height. Lots of stuff for them to do. We can leave them to it. You know, in fact, we have so much wood, I'm not going to worry about it. This lumberjack can go away. That'll be fine. Um, we probably could use some more hauling posts. We do have... Um, H per hauling post. Did I scroll past it? I absolutely did. Hello? Where? Okay, the two of them right here. We do have 20 beavers working as haulers. Um, I guess... I, I can't remember if it was this playthrough or the other one with the uh, Iron Teeth where people were... Uh, I guess I should say 
irritated with me for, for not having enough, uh, not having enough haulers, but I guess, I guess it doesn't hurt to just put another one of these here. That'll take up 10 beavers. They don't have anything else to do. We'll just leave one right there. And then and do I already have one over here? I uh, don't think I do. I don't really need one over here per se. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta redo all this anyway. That could be a next time thing. Because I really, really wanted to make sure that they could, uh, they could get as much of this done as they could. Uh, this is just about done though, which is nice. So I think all they have to do now is, yep, just come back and finish this. Then I can get rid of all of this stuff. In fact, I already can. And get rid of this whole, uh, catwalk thing. Okay, that's done. Yep, that's going to be nice when I leave that perfectly alone. I don't need to build anything else there. I think that's going to be fine. Uh, come get this. Come get this stuff, and then I will take the ladders out. So we can put our last piece of the puzzle in place so there. Wrap a couple things up, and we will be finished with this episode. Lots of good stuff here. Lots and lots of good stuff here. So let them take care of that. Uh, working on this, working on this. Uh, these stairs are done. Good, now they can get in here to take care of the rest of that. Just seems like we're kind of waiting for them to do stuff at this point. As it goes. This is just such a convoluted way to get up here. I really should have, really should have these connected, uh, but I don't really know where over here would make sense. I guess. Oh, uh, you know what? I guess it just makes the most sense to have this. Nope, nope, nope. You know what? I don't have to be. Don't have to be dumb. I can just put in platforms because I have enough. I have enough wood. I don't need to worry about it. So what we'll end up doing there. Uh, I will just go ahead and, uh, put in ladders. No reason not to, right? Just, uh, do this the fun way. Is it ugly? Yes. Does it work? Also, yes. You know, oh, there's no plank storage. Uh, I feel like that's, um... I feel like that's something I shouldn't have to be, uh, that worried about. Um, this is already plank storage. I need an underground storage for planks. I just don't have a good place to put it. So you can't put anything underneath an underground storage. Of course you can't. That would be stupid. And it wouldn't be an underground storage. It would be like a, like, you know, you go to like a big city and you go to a, a tall building and it says it has buttons in the elevator for the basement and the sub basement. It's like, okay, I under I understand what they're getting at, but. I don't know, the basement's the lowest thing. Why can't you just say levels of basement? Why does it have to be a sub-basement? It's still a basement. Just call it like B1, B2, B3, or whatever. I don't know, whatever. Probably a stupid uh, tirade to go on. Um, I, I will turn this one into plank storage, and then this can be... This can just be log storage set to obtain, so the, uh, the guys can come over here and uh, have stuff ready. Oh, they have filled this up quick. Oh, okay, no, they, they still got those. But I need to make sure... Oh, did I, did I delete the planks? I absolutely did. Should I even be sweating storing nine planks enough like this? I don't think I should. I always forget the Z button rotates 90 degrees. I never managed to remember it. I don't know why. Oh, I can't reach this? All right. I no longer care. Goodbye. <laughs> to just, just send those things to the shadow realm. Let's um, get this built, shall we? Move on with our lives. How many squares of path can I get rid of before it gets out? Oh, there it goes. That was the last one. All right, so that's gonna be a whole thing. Get rid of that. Put this guy in. Uh, making good progress here, it seems. Oh, do I want to be stupid? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> let's uh. Let's put this in here. There's uh, no reason not to be like this. 
Oh, I guess I don't need to have the whole wall up like that, but we'll be fine. Let's actually connect this. That's probably why they hadn't built this one yet. But we have to get this in place. Got to get these uh, dynamites set off. Um, probably I'm just going to have to do these one at a time. But everything else is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. What else have I not touched on from my notes? Let's see. Uh, we're, I, I did have that we're going to move bad water production over here. That's going to happen next time when we have all this power uh, hooked up. Uh, we fixed the pathing between the industrial areas and the spatter dock farm. We fixed the underground pile issue. Um, I didn't build any water tanks here because honestly we don't need any more. We have plenty already, but uh, we do need to figure out what's going to go in this open space next time. Uh, let's see. Uh, I fixed all the stuff up at the top while we were working on our different water shunting stuff. I took the bad water pumps out from the spatter dock. I built the power shaft across here. It's not really done, but it, it is here. And it is not connected. I should have finished that before I started reading off the list. Uh, but most of the stuff people asked in the last episode we have addressed. And it has, uh, has been fixed. So that's what I really, really like about doing these videos the way that I do them, where... Uh, I wait for comments before I record the next episode because, you know, I could just sit here for three days and play an entire 20, 30 hour Timberborn playthrough and just make a whole bunch of videos and just post it up and then go do something else for three weeks and come back. But no, that's not as much fun because when you guys uh, watch the videos, you see things that I forget or that I just don't know. And you let me know uh, things that we can do to improve stuff, make stuff look nicer, more efficient, or uh, you get to see the stupid mistakes I make and it becomes either comedy to you, which is, I guess, fine, or it becomes uh, a source of entertainment and also information, which is also fine. So we have we have fun. So uh, please do always let me know if you see something that uh, you think needs to be fixed or something that you feel like I haven't noticed, because uh, I do always read the comments. Uh, I can't always respond to them, especially as the volume increases, but uh, I do always read them. I do always make note of what you guys have to say so I can try to make these videos the best that I can. And I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. I genuinely mean it. So that being said, let's come over here and get our uh, final connection made here with the high power shaft. This is nicely connected. Uh, so we should see this rotating once that's done. Um, the last thing I wanted to do was make sure that this was hooked up. And it is, uh, all of our water that was in here is now no longer in here because it all flowed out. But now we can come up here and get this all locked and loaded. Uh, that is just about done. So these up here, yeah, this will be one of the last things we do before we say goodbye. Wow, just like that, it's almost an hour. <laughs> this is what happens when I tell myself I'm going to make a video that's not an hour long and it ends up being an hour long anyway. But hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys can tolerate a little bit more of that nonsense. Yeah, get that tree out of here. This will be uh, two dynamites down. These will be one down. And then uh, after these are set off, I'm going to have to come in here and uh, set this guy as a two. There we go go there we go get that going that's going to be super nice to just have that be completely level that is going to be very very good uh, i will go ahead and seal this off with a terrain block once all of these are put in place in fact you know what i might as well since we're already here having such a wonderful time let's let's just get this let's just get all this put in place i'll detonate it and we'll we'll complete the shoot I, I know I said earlier that it might not be done in this episode, but guess what? It's going to be done in this episode. We're going to get it accomplished. Uh, I can go ahead and safely take this out now. And you know what? I'm going to use the demolish buildings tool because I can. That works. Now the beavers have no ability to get down in the nasty over here. I just need to get this uh, cleaned up nicely and we should be good to go. Get this filled in. And yes, sir, we're going to have a completely perfect uh, water diversion solution. A straight shot, which should make a couple of you, well, I don't know about happy, but content at least. 
So we'll uh, watch them do the rest of this while I get you out of here. Uh, like I said earlier, I do always read all the comments, so please do let me know if there's anything you see that I uh, should be aware of or uh, you have any comments or anything. Uh, very, very much appreciate you. Beard Boosters as well, those fantastic folks who uh, make it possible for me to keep doing this stuff with their uh, generous support. If you want to be part of that, there's info in the description, but please don't ever feel obligated. Again, it's just a way for people who uh, have that inkling to uh, be able to contribute in that way. So, very, very much appreciate all of those folks. And we should have plenty more fun stuff uh, coming up soon with uh, this series, the other two Timberborn series, and then the other games that I've promised we're going to take a look at. I uh, got another video of the uh, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic coming out probably within the next week or so. Uh, get back into that series a little bit and then check out a bunch of new stuff because I've gotten all sorts of emails, suggestions, etc. from people saying, hey, check out my game or check out this game or would love to see you play this. Uh, live streams and stuff included in that. So uh, do stay tuned. We'll see what happens. I'm not entirely sure what the schedule on that's going to be, but uh, we'll get there when we get there and we do what we can with what we have because that's what we do. I don't even know if that statement made sense, but <laughs> but all that being said, this is just about done. We'll get these last couple of uh, last couple of blocks of dirt in place, and then we will say goodbye. This can go away now. Oh, look how look how fantastic that looks. Just got to get this in. Then I'll put this last bit in, and then we'll get the dynamite in. Then we'll blast it out, and then we'll be done. It's so much fun to be able to actually build terrain instead of just blow it up. It looks nicer, too, than just levees everywhere. I probably should be doing that more. I know that's uh, what Skystorm almost always does in his builds, is use actual terrain. But I am not Skystorm. I am my own person who is probably worse at the game, but that's okay. We can have fun with it anyway. See, look, look at this. Look at this. We don't even need the gravity batteries. It's not using enough power. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I thought that needed to be a thing, but look. We're turning. It's all working perfectly, wonderfully well. And that's done. Which means... That's done. Which means now they have to come get the planks, but there's no storage, so I'm going to get rid of those. Anyhow, we'll get rid of that. And then I just have to fill in this space with the dirt, and we will actually, genuinely, 100% be done with this episode. And, uh... I can stop uh, stop this madness of just letting it go on forever. Yep. Oh, also, don't forget, uh, I am still taking submissions for the uh, colony, uh, colony review showcase, whatever. I can't remember what I called the <laughs> video series. Uh, but if you have a Timberborn colony, folktales, iron teeth, or water beavers, uh, do share those if you want me to take a look at those and possibly include them in a video. I can't include all of the ones that are submitted, but I do open all of them and I do take a look at what you guys send in. Uh, so if there's something you think is super cool or interesting that you would like the community to see, do share it. And uh, we'll see if it's something that uh, fits going up on the channel. But now this is done. Let's detonate. Oh, look at that. That's so satisfying. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's so organized. That is good stuff, man. Let's um, yeah, let's get this out of here. Just uh, mark that for building, and that's all she wrote. We've got our little uh, diversion system here. Get out the uh, UI out of the way and everything. That's good stuff. But that is quite enough of my time and your time is spent on uh, this diversion for the last fifteen minutes. Oh, maybe I should end the episode now. It's over. It's over. So uh, whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun. I'll have another video hopefully uh, tomorrow coming out on the water beavers as we get closer and closer to the end of that one. But I appreciate you. Stay safe, have fun, take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.